It was a Charleston, Washington race course and jockey club, today known as Hampton Park. The ceremony is to believe to have included a parade of as many as 10,000 people, including 3,000 African-American school children singing the Union marching song, John Brown's Body. They were carrying armfuls of flowers and went to decorated the graves. Interesting that there would be a tie back to Hudson with that song from John Brown. Most importantly, whether Charleston's Decoration Day was the first is attended by Charleston's black community. Mike. AJ, Mike. <laughs> we'll continue on. This is why you moved in closer so you can hear this. <laughs> okay, most importantly, uh, two weeks prior to the ceremony, the former slaves and workmen exhumed a mass grave of 240 Union soldiers and officers. They then took those remains and buried them in individual graves with honors. Now, each soldier was given a proper burial. They constructed a fence to protect the cemetery site and erected a sign over the entrance that reads, Martyrs of the Race Course. The dead prisoners of war at the racetrack must have seemed especially worthy of the honor that former slaves had in treating their remains because there was a tie between <coughs> the slaves at that time and the Union officers and soldiers because both suffered imprisonment and mistreatment by their captors. Not surprisingly, many white Southerners who had supported the Confederacy did not feel compelled to spend a day decorating the graves of their former enemies. I can understand that, being in the military. But in the following years, it was the African Americans in the South who perpetuated and kept alive the Memorial Day tradition at that time. Now, my generation, probably some of you, grew up listening to the radio and listening to Paul Harvey, the commentator, who at the end of his specials would say, and now you know the rest of the story. Well, now you two know the rest of the story about Memorial Day. Thank you. God bless America. God bless you. We'd like to apologize for the lapse in the uh, workings of the sound system. Uh, it apparently didn't have anything to do with the sound system. Not quite sure what, but we apologize. <laughs> 